Greetings everyone, today we're going to talk about the famous chaga mushroom. This video is dedicated to my best friend Melissa Sowers. Alright, let's get started. Over here I'm going to show you some of my famous medicinal mushrooms. We have the red belted polypore and some turkey tail. And over here we have the famous chaga mushroom. Now chaga mushroom grows on birch trees. Today we're going to make a medicinal mushroom tea. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by adding some water. I like to use spring water and sometimes I even filter it into a pot. And then what I like to do is I add my chaga powder. I use one to two tablespoons of chaga powder. The recommended dose is one cubic centimeter per liter of water or a fifteenth of a tablespoon per quart of water. And then I add one to two tablespoons of powder. into my water and I let it boil very slowly for two to three hours. Now the reason that you need to boil chaga is because chaga has a very strong outer shell known as the chitin and the chitin needs to be broken in order to extract the medicinal properties and some of its constituents. The only way to break the chitin is through heating it. So we heat our chaga for two to three hours. Now, I really, really love chaga tea because it tastes like vanilla. It's, it, has a, it has a very strong resemblance of coffee and it's really good for you. It has so many medicinal properties and it has anti-cancer properties, anti-tumor properties. It also has the ability to modulate your immune system. It has the ability to enhance your immune system to help fight infections and disease. Please try our wonderful chaga tea and see for yourself the wonderful benefits that it can bring home to you. Thank you for watching and I hope you will enjoy your chaga tea. Have a wonderful day.